that a Mr. Speaker, this week of April 27th are our National Days of Remembrance and Commemoration of the Holocaust. In communities across the country, we set aside this time to stand in solemn solidarity with millions of Jews worldwide to pledge never again to allow such evil to exist. In Israel, on Holocaust Remembrance Day, a siren sounds for two minutes. Everybody stops what they're doing and uh, stands silently in a powerful living memorial to those who were lost and a symbol uh, rejecting uh, the worst evil the world has ever known. As survivors perish each year, it becomes more important to internalize the lessons of the Holocaust and recall the six million Jews and other innocent victims who perished in the great shame of the 20th 20th century. In Western New York, we are proud that one of our own, Supreme Court Justice Robert H. Jackson, was the chief prosecutor for the United States at the Nuremberg trials of Nazi war criminals. His actions helped to inspire a deep commitment from our community to preserve and honor the story of the Holocaust for future generations. I yield back the balance of my time.